What's up everyone and welcome back to the comps channel. For today's video, we're going to go over a way to set up the channels that keeps your GPS location off of the public network and only share it with people on your own encrypted channel. After that, we'll go over a few ways you can share your channel setup with the people you want to communicate with. So join me as we dig into it. We're approaching a restricted area. Restricted area is one mile west. Before we get into it, I just want to give a quick shout out to the channel's recent supporters. Your support is very much appreciated, and if you're finding these videos useful and would like to support the channel as well, you can do so by using the coffee link in the video description or by using the thanks button below the video. Thank you for your support and helping with the channel's continued production. We discussed channels and how to create them earlier on in this series, and as we discussed in that video, these channels are more like chat rooms and not related to frequency channels. One of the things we mentioned in that video is that our GPS location is shared on the primary channel. And if we're on the default settings, this means that the GPS location is shared on the public channel for everyone to see. If we don't want to use the public channel at all to see who else is out there and talk to other people on the public channel, then this can be simply fixed by changing the encryption key on the primary channel from the default of AQ equal equal sign to something else. If we do want to keep the public channel available, but also protect our location, we can set this up by making the primary channel the channel using our own encryption key and making a secondary channel named longfast with the default encryption key of AQ equal sign equal sign. This is pretty easy to do, so let's go through the process. If you haven't changed from the default settings, you're likely already on this, but make sure you're on the long fast lower modem preset. We can confirm this by tapping on the three dot menu on the top right and then select radio configuration. Then we can select the lower section and then as we see here, the modem preset is already set to long fast. If this isn't the case on yours, go ahead and change this to long fast. Next, let's head over to the channels configuration page by hitting back and then selecting channels. So here we can see we have the default primary long fast channel. This is the channel that the GPS location data is currently going over. Even if we created an additional channel with our own encryption key, the GPS location will still go over the default public channel because that is the primary channel. So what we want to do is change this one to be our own channel with our own encryption key. Before we do that though, let's create an additional channel by tapping the plus sign on the bottom right of the screen here. This will pop up a window with the default channel name of long fast and the default pre-shared key of AQ equal equal. Leave all of this at the defaults you see here and just hit save. We'll now have two channels named long fast with channel zero being the primary channel. Let's go ahead and tap on channel zero and configure it with our own name and encryption key. For the channel name, put whatever you like here. I'm just gonna name mine private for this video. Once you have that in there, it will automatically generate a random encryption key for you. As discussed in the previous video, the uplink and downlink switches are for MQTT, so we can just leave these off for now and hit save to go ahead and save the new channel. We should now have our newly changed primary channel on channel zero and the default public long fast channel on channel one. We can also create additional channels by hitting the plus sign again. So let's say for example, I wanted a, another channel for just my family. I'd create another channel called family and would only share this with my family members to communicate on. So with that one added, we now have three channels configured as you can see here. Let's go ahead and send these settings to the device by hitting the send button. One thing that'll likely happen after making these changes is the LoRa channel number will change. Now when we're talking about LoRa channel numbers, we're actually talking about frequencies in this case. Since the LoRa channel number has changed, we're no longer on the default frequency and need to change it back to its default channel number in order to communicate with people on the public channel. For the US, the default lore channel number is 20. If you're not in the US, there's info on default channels by region on the Meshtastic docs page that you can look up and use instead of 20. So let's go ahead and change this to 20 and then we can hit send. After doing this, your device will reboot and then you should be on the default channel for the US at that point. 
So we should be good to go now, but let's confirm that our primary and secondary channels are as expected. Unfortunately, there currently isn't a way to see the channel roles in the mobile app, so we're going to have to do this from the web interface. The web interface is easy to use and you can get to it by going to client.meshtastic.org on a Chromium based web browser. If you're on a recent version of Windows, you already have one called Microsoft Edge that you can use. So on this page, we'll see a new connection button. Click on that and then since my device is connected to my computer using USB, I'm going to select serial tab at the top. Then we'll have to pair a new device by hitting the new device button and selecting our device from the box that pops up. If there's multiple devices and we're not sure which one is the device we want to configure, simply unplug the device and the device will be whichever one disappears when we hit new device again. After pairing the device, we'll see it listed on the page here. And then we can go ahead and click on it to select it and the button should turn gray indicating that we're connected. And then we can go ahead and close this connection window now to go ahead and continue on to the web interface. Then from here we can proceed to the channels page and we should have a tab for channel zero selected, which in my case is the channel named private. If we take a look at the role, we can see that this is the primary channel, which is what we want to be able to protect the GPS location. Then beside that tab, we'll see a tab for channel one. This is our new public default long fast channel, and we can see this is set to secondary. Then beside that one, we have a tab for the additional family channel we created with our own encryption key. So all of that looks good and now that we have things configured the way we want, we're ready to share these settings with other devices we want to communicate with. If we head back to the Android app, we can go to the main channel page by tapping the signal icon here. Here on this page we'll see a QR code that we can share and this would be scanned from the app on other devices by hitting the scan button. Alternatively, there's a URL you can copy and send to whoever you want to join your channels as well. But in our example here, we have this family channel that we only want to share with family members. Sharing the QR code or URL from the Android app would give access to all of the channels, including the family channel. There is a way to pick and choose what channels are shared, and to do that, we'll hop back over to the web client. If we look at the top right of the web client, we'll see a QR code button. Clicking on this will bring up a QR code generator where we can pick and choose which channels are shared. For example, let's say we have our group of friends on the channel named private that we want to talk to, but we don't want them on the family channel. We can select the private channel and channel one, which is the default long fast public channel, and then leave family unchecked. We would then share this QR code or URL with our friends and they would not have access to the family channel. Then for the family devices, we would also select family and share this QR code or URL with them so we can communicate on our own private family channel while still being able to talk to our friends on the private channel and people on the public channel. Or maybe you have children and don't want them on the public channel. You could just uncheck channel one, which we have set to the public channel and share this code for the children's devices. That would give them the ability to talk to our friends and just family and leave the public channel out of it. And this is just a few of many potential communication situations and just select well, whichever channels you need for whatever situation you're in. That'll do it for this video and I hope you found it useful. If you did, please be sure to give this video a thumbs up and then subscribe if you haven't already done so. And Join me for the rest of the Advanced Meshtastic series. Thank you all and have a good one.